I have been sick. I've been feeling nauseous. I'm just recovering from those nauseous feelings I've had since. And now I have to talk about it. <sighs> Hi guys, so today I just want to run through some of the stories that trended on social media this past week. The actor Yul Edoche believes that he broke the internet according to his tweets after he posted a picture of his newborn son by his second wife. Like when that post dropped like this, everybody just, there was this uproar on, on social media. And I think that the reason for that was because after you posted the uh, announcement or the introduction of his son and his second wife, his first wife took to social media to also post, God will judge you both. And that just made it a very sensational one for everybody because people were like, what? So does it mean that you cheated on his wife, had a baby by another woman, and even had the gods to marry that woman and then come on social media to post everything for everyone to see. You know, it was just crazy. Like, but it was just like, what's going on? What's happening? And I can understand how people were able to relate to that first wife. Like, ah, because a lot of women have gone through things like that, cheating husbands and things like that. So it was easy for people to, you know, lash out at you for doing what he did or what they think he did. And even his family got dragged into it. His brothers had to come online to you know say their own side of the story that they are not in support of what you is doing or has done because now he has already married that woman and things like that so it's got a lot of people talking and i think that some people hold you to a certain standard like okay maybe they see him in, a, in a, a certain light that makes it more disappointing for them when they saw that what um you know when they saw what he posted about his son and his new wife you know i think people will be like they don't expect somebody of his caliber or i don't know to do something like that but i think for me what made it more sensational and made and made it go viral like that was because of the response of his wife because people will be wondering like so maybe this woman didn't know she must have felt betrayed maybe she found out on social media just like the rest of us you know it was just it's just it was just a crazy situation and it, it actually leaves me wondering like did she know or even if she did did she accept it because she probably didn't go into that marriage thinking somewhere down the line her husband would go ahead and marry somebody else i'm not sure it's a discussion that they probably have had or maybe if they have she's just not down for that kind of thing and she must be feeling hurt or betrayed or you know something like that so but i feel that there is more to this story because ah, there has to be more because after the post and after all the backlash here and there, you still went ahead to tweet that, ah, he cannot believe that he could get 60,000 comments on a particular post. After he's, he's been acting for years, nobody saw him. He's been, he has gone into politics. He has been an activist and all manner of things that he listed that he has done that nobody really gave him recognition for. But because of this post now that he had announced uh, his son and his, and his new wife everybody is now talking about him like he was i don't know should i say feeling himself or something so in my mind i feel like that is not the response of somebody who feels that he has done something wrong you know and rumor has it that it is done to promote a movie well i really don't know about that one shall because if it's indeed a stunt that's a very expensive stunt you know because your family is in the mix now even your not just your wife or children, your brothers. I mean, it's a very expensive stunt. So I feel like there's more to this story, guys. So let's just keep our an eye for that as it, it goes along. But I do hope that they are able to resolve these things amicably at the end of the day. My own concern is always the children. The children, is to, they need to be protected, they need to be shielded from some of these things. Because as adults, we do things that don't necessarily benefit our children or that might be difficult on our children but i don't know it's just things that adults do sometimes but i hope they're able to get through whatever it is that they are going through right now and everyone comes out maybe somewhat happy okay so this next story i want to talk about guys this one is really hard for me because since i heard it since i saw it, the videos i have been i have been sick i've been feeling nauseous i'm just recovering from those 
nauseous feelings I've had since, and now I have to talk about it. Oh, it's hard, but okay, let's just get through it <laughs> once and for all. Guys, what's happening in this country right now? It's no longer funny. I don't understand. Bestiality? Really? Jesus. Ladies having sex with animals for money? Exactly. People abusing, having sex with their, with their dogs and pets and... Oh my God. Look, these things, is, I don't think, they're not new, right? Like even when I was a kid, way younger, I used to hear about ladies traveling abroad to have sex with dogs for money. Even some Nollywood movies have acted things like that in the past. But you know, when you hear these things, you just feel, mm, Najis Jari. You understand? But when you now eventually see it, like I've accidentally uh, I've seen a video of a guy having sex with a goat before, and I think it was for money yeah, ritual or something like that. And that video, how I even saw it was somebody accidentally posted it to me. And, and the person that sent it to me, I, of course, I wasn't expecting that that person would say that kind of thing to me. So I just clicked on the video and voila. See, it took me almost weeks to get that thing off my system. You know, and then I, I reached out to the person like, why would you send me kind of crazy with that? And he was like, please, 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 sorry. He didn't mean to send it to me. It was supposed to be for somebody. Like he saw it. I wanted to have a discussion about it with his friend. And he accidentally sent it to me because it messed with my head for a long time. And now it has started again. I've, I've seen vi there are videos everywhere of people having sex with animals, even the ones that we eat, cow. Oh my God. Like, ugh. What is going on, people? Like, have you heard that there's this a hotel in Lagos, right here in Lagos, where ladies go to have sex with animals, and then the men who pay them this money watch them doing it for their own fetish or whatever. Oh, God. What is going on? Like, we're still trying to wrap our head around these money rituals and all the crazy things that have been going on in this country, kidnapping and all the evil things that have been going on in this country. And now this... Like, what, what's happening? What, what is going on? Yes, we know that the economy is bad. People are desperate. But to this point, ha. And the one that even pisses me off the most is this lady that came on Twitter to say that, uh, yes, uh, she did something like that. She had sex with a dog. It's, it's, what is the big deal? After all, she didn't kill anybody. It's just, uh, it's, she just had sex with a dog. That is 1.5 million a small money. 1.5 million is no joke. And I'm and I'm shaking my head like this lady does not even understand what she's messing with. Because bestiality is illegal in Nigeria, you can get arrested for it. Yes, people, you can get arrested for it. So for you to come online and be bragging about it, thinking that maybe it will help you trend or become popular or famous or whatever, doesn't even make any sense because you're putting yourself out there. For the authorities to wise. find. And I know, that I think I read some people have already started reporting her page. And oh my God, the, the one that is making my head go gaga right now is another post by this same lady has come out. She's crying crocodile tears, saying that she was just catching crews, that now she has lost her boyfriend. People should please help her to beg her boyfriend. I'm like, what in the foolishness is going on here? Really? Help you beg your boyfriend? You're not even worried about your reputation. You're not worried about your, your, uh, about the authorities that might be coming for you. I don't understand how people just go online and then because they want to trend or get famous or whatever, they just post stupid stuff. Does it make sense? You're not even thinking about your own reputation. You're not thinking about your future. You're just thinking of them. Uh, uh, okay, maybe you can become famous. You become you trend. If you trend, then what will now happen? You start making money off it or what? I don't understand. Like people, we need to have common sense. So we need to be applying common sense before you start doing some crazy things online. Eh? Where has our morals gone? We've become so morally bankrupt in this country that any and everything goes. I don't get it. Like, I can't understand what is going on anymore. I don't know where we are going. I don't know how we are going to get back to being in a, in a morally sane um, state. We are seriously failing as a country, as a nation, as families. We are failing because you know, the craziness we are seeing online is a fallout of what is happening in the family unit, in the societal unit, and in the whole nation. In fact, 
this one off me anyway guys thank you for hanging with me please don't forget to share your thoughts or comment section below tell me what you think about this craziness that is going on remember to subscribe like and share this video i'll see you in my next video Thank you.